Hey guys. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, David. Hey guys, how are you doing? Everything good? I'm good. good. Everything fine. Oh, I can't hear. Hold on. All right, can you say something now? Let me see if I can hear you. Jenny, how are you, Jenny? Everything is okay, teacher. Tired, but it's the day. It's a good day. Nice, nice, nice. How was your weekend? Uh, with my family, with my son and my daughter. Uh, trabajo de mamá. No job. All right, you say I work as a mom. Oh, so you work as a mom. I, I work as a mom. <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Well, that's you know that's a lot of job. That's a lot of work. I'm sorry. That's a lot of work. <laughs> that's great. Um. Anyways, uh, what about you, Rodrigo? How was your weekend? Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, very good. Some some sports, some some relax. More a lot of relax. Okay. All right, great, 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 great. All right. So, did you go somewhere? What do you do? Is there any particular place where you went to? No. Very good. What about you, Jenny? I'm uh, not Jenny. Uh, you have <laughs> you have two. Uh, yeah, my computer and my phone. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, what about you, David? Nice seeing you. So, how was your weekend? Uh, good evening, for everyone. Uh, my weekend, uh, relax. Uh, only yesterday I went to eat pupusas. Uh huh. Near near to San Rafael Cedros. No idea where San Rafael Cedros is, but if it starts with Santa something or San something, it's far away. <laughs> yeah, sure. a little far. <laughs> okay, all right. What about you, Maylin? How was your weekend? I'm fine. Um, relax. It's good. All right. Yes. All right, that's great. Great, 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 great. All right. Okay, guys, so it seems that I need to get a haircut soon. Um, anyways, guys, let's get started, okay? I have no idea what happened to everybody else, but let's get down to business. So, guys, uh, you have completed the section one so far, right? You have not completed section two yet. Am I right? All right. So, we need to complete section two, too, guys. Okay, section two is just present perfect, and that's what we're going to see right now. Okay, so we got to... Um, let's get started, okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna, go, uh, we're gonna talk, guys, about the present perfect continues, all right? Uh, so the agenda for today, guys, is, you know, to talk about the uh, present perfect continuous, and we're gonna have some practice at the end, okay? So, very quick, guys, um, help me read the objective for today's agenda, Rodrigo. By the end of this class, participants will understand, use, and practice the press and practice continuous. All right, very good. So, okay, so, um, okay, so that's it. All right. Now, guys, uh, press and perfect continuous, okay? This is how you, how you usually see the structure, okay? For example, if you say, we have been, uh, we have been singing, right? That's a present perfect continuous tense, okay? Now, what is the first thing that you notice in the structure? Uh, let's see, Maylin, what is the first thing that you, you notice in the structure? So good. All right, and then we have what, guys? Auxiliary. auxiliary. Okay, all right, so then we have the auxiliary, and then we have? 
Uh, peace and past, past, past participle. Past participle. Okay. Past participle. Okay, so we have the past participle form of verbs. Okay, now it has to be the verb be, guys, okay? Now there is a big difference here between uh, present perfect and present perfect progressive because of this one specific thing, because of the verb be itself, okay? All right? And then, guys, we need to use the verb in what tense? What form? Jaden. All right, we need to use it. We need to use a gerund, right? We need to use the verb in ing form, okay? In its ing form, or uh, we call it as well a present participle, right? So these are, you know, this is a structure, guys. So a present perfect continuous tense, okay? Now do not get confused with uh, present continuous, guys, because it's not the same thing, all right? Do my favorite, guys, right? Just by taking a look at the structure, let's make sentences, all right? Let's all make a sentence, guys. At least one sentence, send it to the chat room and I'm going to ask around, okay? Got it? That's what we're going to do right now. So I need everybody to send me one example of the present perfect continuous form using the structure that we have here, okay? All right. Okay. We're going to go into more details, guys, but uh, let's have everybody send me, sending me examples right now, okay? Meanwhile, David, give me your own example. Uh, Mbappé had been playing in... Paris. Okay. Now, very good. Now, now, very good. Okay. That that is almost a perfect example. Okay. And I say almost because it's not. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. You said, I think it's in pop or something. Like, I don't watch football. All right. Anyways, uh, you said have been playing for what? In Paris. Paris, okay. Okay, very good. Anyways, so now, this is good, okay? You're following the structure here. Now, I want you to notice something. What, uh, what, what, um, if you were to substitute this for a personal pronoun, what personal pronoun would you substitute it for? were to substitute this noun for a personal pronoun, what personal pronoun would you substitute it for? Uh, he. Exactly. And he is first, second, or third person? Uh, third. Third person. So what uh -huh. do you do with the verb? Okay, very good. Has. has okay. Uh -huh. Very good. So has been playing for, um, for Paris, okay? Yeah. Very, very good. Okay, good job. Blues for David, guys. Good job. All right. Thank you. Right. Good job, David. All right, let me see. Uh, Jenny, give me your example, Jenny. Uh, Maria and Luis huh? have been walk. Has been walk. Mm -hmm. Together last week. Walking, Teddy. <laughs> okay, okay. Together. Okay. Uh, yes, sorry. Yes. Okay, all right, let's, let's work with this, okay? All right, guys, very good, applause, guys, applause, applause for me, guys, because that is, that's incorrect, okay? But <laughs> right. we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see your example, Jenny. All right, Jenny, all right, um, first of all, let's see, are we following the structure? Do we have a subject? Do we have a subject, guys, in Maria and Luis have, it says, has been walking together yesterday? All right, do we have a subject, yes or no? Uh Okay, have, have right? teacher, because no has. Out. Very good, have, right? You said has. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, Maria and Luz have, okay, been walking together. Now, this is good, okay? This is good, but we do not use this, okay? And we'll explain why later. Okay? I'll explain why later, okay? But good job. It's for Jenny, guys. Good job, Jenny. All right? Very good. Jenny, pick someone who looks like Cheyenne. Let's just pick someone. Jenny, pick someone. Let's go. Pick, pick someone. Choose someone. Pick, you. pick someone. I can pick, hear you. Give me a name. Pick someone. Okay. Uh, um, hi. Enrique Iglesias. 
having a Ricky. Let's go, okay, very good. Herbert, let's go, Herbert. Good job. All right, Herbert, what example do you have, Herbert? I I have working since 2010. Okay, now, very good. Uh, let me ask you something, Herbert. Are you following the structure? What are I, you missing from the structure no. here? I have been working. Very good. I have been working since 2012. Good job. Those were Herbert, guys. Good job, Herbert. Okay. All right. Thank good you. job, guys. Good examples. Okay. So uh, nicely done. Okay. So that is the structure, guys, so of a present perfect continuous tense. Okay. All right. Subject, auxiliary have or has if it is third person. Ben, okay. This is something that you will always have in here, guys. Ben, okay. This does not change. Okay. Doesn't change. All right. So it doesn't change, guys. Okay, uh, don't forget that. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what do we use the present perfect continuous for? Let's see, Elda. Hello, Elda. Nice to see you. Elda, would you please help me? Hello. Read what we use the present perfect. No. The present. The the real teacher. Okay. Yeah. We no, use no. we use the present perfect continuous tends to talk about action that started in the past and stopped recent, recently, there is usually a result now. Very good, let, let, help me, let me help you with the pronunciation, okay? Uh, yes. All right, it is to talk about, I well, you should say an action, okay? To talk about an action, repeat, to talk about an action. To talk, to about, talk about an action. action. That started in the past. <laughs> That started in the past and stopped recently. And stopped, and stopped recently. recently. Now, no, it's not stop, guys. Okay, right. It's like this, guys. Okay, it's like when you sneeze. Okay. Stop. Did, stop. did you ever? Did you ever get coronavirus, guys? Were you ever like? Did you ever? Have you ever gotten a flu? So it's the same thing. It's like when you get a flu, right? Like when you go like, okay, right? Stopped. All right, stop. like that. Stop. Try it. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Uh, not stop it. Stop. 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 There you go. Okay. Stop. And stop. then use this, right? Stop. Recently. 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 Right. Recently. Very good. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Now, guys, remember this part, okay? To talk about an action that started in the. The past. All right. Do me a favor, guys. Everybody show me your notebooks, okay? I need you to write this down, okay? So. All right, I want everybody show me your notebooks. Okay, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, very good, guys. So I need you to be taking notes, guys. Okay, David, Jenny, Herbert, right? Ilda, let's get a notebook. All right, I need you guys to write this down. Okay, an action that started in the past and stopped recently. That's it. Okay, those are the three things that you need to remember. It started in the past and it stopped recently. Okay, that is one of its uses. All these uses, all right. Let's let's take a look at this example. All right. Um, welcome, Maria Belen. Hello, Maria Belen. Help me read um, over here. Okay, I'm tired because I've been running. Okay, repeat. I'm tired because I've been running. I'm tired because I be I bring running. Okay, this pronunciation is tired. 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 No, not tired. 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 It's like this. Tired. Tired. Thigh, and then I? tired. 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 I mispronounced it because of you now. No. Tired. tired. Okay, like this. Tired. 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 There you go. Okay, that's the pronunciation. Tired. Thing. All right, very good. All right, guys. So here, guys, okay, notice something, okay? The continuous, like, where, 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 where can I find here, guys, in this sentence, okay? Where can I find the present perfect continuous action? In, in this sentence, okay, take a look at this sentence right here, okay? Where do you see the present perfect continuous? I've been running. Okay, I've been running. Very good. Okay, so I've been running. Okay, so there is the present perfect continuous. Okay, so now remember 
we use it to talk about an action that started in the past and recently stopped in the present, right? So far so good. Usamos para una acción que empezó en el pasado y ha parado recientemente. Yes? Okay. Muy bien. Yes. All right. Very good. Yes. So, now thinking about that, all right, what is the action that started in the past year? ¿Cuál fue la acción que... Tighter. Oh. Uh, sure? Tighter. Run. Running, guys. Okay. Running. All right. Running, right? Yo estaba haciendo esto en el pasado, right? So I was doing this in the past, okay? And because I was doing that in the past, you know, now in the present, right? This is the present, okay? I am tired, see? You got it? Yes. Okay, so it was a continuous action that I was doing in the past and now I feel tired because I was running, right? Now, see, result, the action, right? Result now and the recent action. See? Okay, so that is that is why, guys. Okay, all right. So notice, guys, all right, that I'm combining, I'm combining present perfect progressive, and I'm combining simple present here, right? All right. Let's have another example. Okay. Um, let's see. Right. You, you guys, you know what? You guys give me examples. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see, Tati, okay, tell me something that you have been doing recently. Decime algo que has estado haciendo recientemente. Cenando. In English. <laughs> Not Spanish, guys, in English. I eat dinner. Okay, so how would you say that in present, uh, in, in, in um, present perfect progressive, guys? How would you say that? Mm. How would you say that, guys? I am eat, eating. Now, if you say I am, right? I am eating dinner. It means that you're eating right now. Are you eating right now? Right? You shouldn't be eating in the class, guys. Right? No, I, I am I eating. No, you're not eating. Been. I, very good. I, I, I have been, been, have been eating. eating. Eating, very good. What else? My dinner. My dinner, okay. Okay. So, see you guys, is this a recent action? Yes or no? First of all, is this in the past? Yes or no? Yes. All right. So, it's an action, guys, okay, right? So, let's say that Tati started eating dinner at 6 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. And it's it's eight. It's almost 8.20 p.m. now, right? She's been eating for two hours and 20 minutes. Right? So... See, guys, the action, guys, okay? The action started in the past and it has an effect in the present, okay? If I say I have been eating dinner, I have been eating my dinner, it means that she's, is she still eating or not, guys? Okay, so the action, the action might have stopped, right? So it was a continuous action, guys. It was an action continuous, guys, que empezó en el pasado y vino a parar hasta bien reciente. Got it? Yes? Or it stopped yes. recently. Okay. All right. Very good. Now you can add a present tense, right? So you can say, for example, all right, let's um, let's say, for example, let, let's have another example here, okay? You can say, uh, I have been I have been eating dinner of my dinner, um, so I am, um, food. no, you don't say, well, I, I am, um, I am stuffed, okay, this is how you say food. Okay. Eso, eso, está lleno. All right, see? So see you guys, okay? What was the action in the past, guys? Can you identify the action of the past year? I have been eating. Very good, okay, I have been eating my dinner, right? So this is, all right, it started in the past, right? Now the present. I'm stuffed. Okay, I am stuffed. Right? He estado comiendo mi cena, por eso estoy lleno. Got it? Right. Right. Does that make sense? Tiene sentido? Yes. 
Yes. Yes, but I have a question. Always, uh, uh, we have to specify the the action now, or it's this, not necessary. Uh huh. Uh, it's not necessary, right? I mean, if you want to give details, remember, guys, this is not like math, right? Um, so okay. you don't need to do, you know, you don't need to fault. You need to do this part, okay? Right? I mean, whatever. It, you, it depends on what you want to say, you know. If you want to give a reason, right? Because at the end of the day, so 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 I'm I'm stuffed. Okay, that means I'm giving you a reason, right? Okay, I'm giving you a reason here. Te estoy dando un motivo, right? Te estoy explicando, right? But if I don't want to explain to you, right? So this is, you know, this is like I don't know when when you're in a toxic relationship, right? And you are, you have to give your explanation for everything, right? All right, but if you're not okay, you you do not have to give the second part. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, very good, guys. So up to this point, guys, hasta este punto ustedes tienen que saber cuál es la estructura. All right, so are we good, guys? Do we all understand the structure? Todos entendemos ahorita la estructura. Yes. All right. Yes. Entonces hasta este punto, guys, hasta este punto, up to this point, guys, we have learned two things. Okay. We have learned two things. The structure, and we have learned uh, the first usage, right? Esas son las dos cosas que tienen que haber aprendido en este momento que les he explicado. So let me ask you something. All right, who would like to give me the structure? Que me quiera la estructura? Me, teacher? Go ahead. Say it. Actually, Subject plus what? Um, auxiliary, oh, you mean auxiliary? Uh-huh, auxiliary. Auxiliary, auxiliary, have or have, have right? Ha, have or have. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, plus B. B and part, participle. Okay. Past participle. We, can, we can say this, guys. Ben, okay? Because Ben needs to be there all the time, okay? That doesn't change, okay? Okay. We're always going to use pen, guys. Always, 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 okay? All right. What else? Plus burn and plus IJG. Very good. Okay. Good job. Those for Jenny, guys. Good job, right? Good job, Jenny. All right. So, anyways, okay. Um, so, here, guys, you can add a compliment if you want, right? It could be in present simple, whatever, right? Now, second question that I got for you. What do we use it for? What is the first usage for uh, present perfect progressive? Who can tell me? Um, uh, me? Go ahead. Action, action to start it in the past and it stopped uh, recently. Very good. Started in the past and stopped recently. Recently. Good job, right? Good job. Those were Maria Belen, right? Very good. Very good. So in action, guys, that started in the past and stopped recently. All right. Very well done. Okay. So good job, guys. Good job. All right. So that's that's uh, the first usage. Okay. All right, guys. Also, guys. Okay. Now we talked about an action that just stopped. Okay. Now we can also use present perfect continuous for. Notice what is the difference here. What difference is here? For what, guys? action continues now. An action that is continuing now, okay? Una acción que está continuando hasta este momento. Okay? All right. For example, this right here. Okay. Um, let's see. Jose. Jose Ellen. Help me read, Jose. Uh, I have been reading hours i've been reading for two hours very good okay now take a look at this guys okay so we have present perfect progressive here or continuous right now i am specifying if i specify guys well we, we don't need first of all that is optional this is option right if i say i have been reading guys for two hours or i have been reading right now if i say i have been reading guys i'm not specifying i don't know you know, I'm talking about an action that stopped, okay? But if you want to, if you want to talk about an action that continues up to this point, guys, you need to add a time expression, okay? These guys, 
is is not a specific amount of time. This is what? A period. Period, period of, of time. time, right? So this is a period of time, guys, okay? All right. So you need to add a period of time, okay? I have been reading for two hours. He estado leyendo por dos horas ya. Okay, that's what it means. Got it? All right. And simple, guys. What else can we say, guys? Okay, let me give you more examples. What else can we say about... Let me clear this up. Okay. So what else can we say, guys? Something that you've been doing recently, okay? Do me a favor, guys, okay? All right, so you're all going to tell me, guys. You're all going to give me one example of what you've been doing recently, okay? Up to this point. And you're still doing right now, guys, okay? Herbert, give me one example. I I need rest because I I have driving in a hard traffic. I have driving? I I, I need rest. Have been driving. Okay, so I mean, you're giving a, a full sense, right? Uh, I need to rest, right? I need to rest because blah. blah. Let's forget this 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 clause first. Okay, let's focus on this one. I have been driving for how long? Now here, guys, answer the question for how long? Por cuánto tiempo? Right. So Herbert, uh, uh, I have been driving because I have been no. Sorry. For, for how long? I, for I I tiempo be, estado... uh, okay, I have been driving for three hours. For three hours, okay. Three hours, very good. Good job, all right? Uh, Maria Belen, give me one example. What have you been doing recently and for how long? I have been working for nine hours. For nine hours, okay. Very good. <laughs> See, all right? Good job. Okay, I'll give you an example, right? Um, I have been teaching for eight years. You don't need to use hours only. You can say years, months, whatever, guys. Whatever you know, period of time you you want. Okay, Jenny, give me give me one example. Tell me something your husband has been doing for years, or you know, but it still does. Okay, the point is that he's still doing it. Okay, tell me something that your husband is uh, still doing up to these days. My husband has. Being playing soccer for ten years. For ten years, very good. So my husband has been playing soccer for ten years. Very good. Okay, super good. So, all right. Does that mean does he still play, guys? Todavía juega? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? If I say, guys, my husband has been playing soccer for 10 years, does he still play or not? No. Yes, guys, yes. Yes, teacher for ING, continue. Yes, okay. Guys, recuerden, estamos viendo que, all right, estamos hablando, guys. One of his usages is, okay, an action that started in the past and continues in the, in the, in the, in the present, okay? Right, action that started in the past and continues in the present, okay? Okay. Si, si yo digo, mi esposo ha estado jugando fútbol por 10 años, eso quiere decir que todavía juega, guys. Got it? Got it? Okay, very good. Now, if he didn't play anymore, guys, I would say my husband played soccer for 10 years. Mi esposo jugó, right? Uh, football for this años. That, that's what I would say. Got it? All right. Very good. David, give me your uh, give me another example. Let's talk about your girlfriend or your wife or whatever. Or your best uh, friend. Uh, my girlfriend has been uh, cooking okay. during 30 minutes. During 30 minutes. Very good. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, it was before 30 minutes. My girlfriend has been cooking for 30 minutes, okay? So that means that his, his girlfriend, is she still cooking or not? Is she still cooking, guys? Todavía está cocinando, yes or no? Yes, okay, the answer yes. is yes, all right? Mayden, give me your example. My 
husband has been working. Okay. Um, for three years. For three years, okay, very good. So that means that he still works, right? All right, Tati, give me another example, Tati. Um, I have been a work out. Wow. I have been work working out. out. Is this what you mean, working out? I working out. Uh huh. For one hour. For one hour, okay. Estaba ejercitándome por una hora, right? Very good. Good job. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, Rodrigo, give me another example, Rodrigo. Uh, I have been standing for a long time. I have what? I have been standing. I have standing. Yeah. Are you for a long time? Are you forgetting something here? I have been standing. Okay, I have been very good. I have been standing for a long time. Okay, very good. So that means that he's still standing, right? Now notice that he's not using for an hour, guys, right? He's using another expression which he expresses time okay um let's see let's see ilda right give me one example ilda give me another example i have been working at usalmo for uh -huh. 30 um 13 años for 13 years. Yes. Okay. No, yes, say it. For 13 years. Say, yes. I've been working at Fusalmo for 13 years. Repeat. I have been working at Fusalmo for 13 years. Okay, very good. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. So this is it, guys. Okay. Um, this is how we make. All right. This is how we make. Um, sentence okay all right so uh any questions so far guys all right so how no. do we make all right how do we make uh how do we make the present perfect continuous tense okay again this is just a structure guys but we went over the structure already right all right so we use have or has guys been and a present participle okay these are these are the main elements okay of of uh, present perfect continuous okay right. we can look at more examples here guys positive sentence right we're using auxiliary have been present participle right now an expression of time for one hour see uh positive what about negative guys now, notice, guys, that the particle not, if it is not contracted, will come after, after what? Auxiliary. After the auxiliary, guys, okay, all right? So if you're gonna say a negative, uh, if you're gonna say a negative um, sentence, okay, it will come after the auxiliary, okay? Viene después del auxiliary, okay? All right? Very good. Now, if you want to make questions, okay, the auxiliary goes to the, over here, goes where? First. The auxiliary is first. Okay, goes to the beginning. And question mark. It goes to the beginning and you add a question mark at the end. Very good. Okay, so, va a ser una pregunta, agregas el auxiliar en la primera posición. Yes? So far is it good? All right, very good guys, okay. Now, um, time to practice guys, okay. I have these questions for you. Do me a favor, please, somebody please take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. All right, so you're gonna practice these questions and uh, we're gonna evaluate you, okay. All right, so let's practice these uh, these questions, guys. Did you take a screenshot? Get the minor screenshot? All right, very good. Send it to the WhatsApp group, guys, okay. And also, guys, uh, take a screenshot of this. All right. Done. Did we take a screenshot? All right, very good. And this yeah. is.
right? Very good. So now, guys, you're gonna solve these exercises first, okay? I want you to solve these exercises first. Primero van a resolver los ejercicios y después cuando terminen van a empezar con las preguntas que tenemos aquí, okay? Now, we have learned three things so far, guys, okay? Hasta ahora, guys, tienen que haber aprendido tres cosas, okay? All right? The structure, all right? Do we know the structure, yes or no? Yes. Okay, all right, okay. so the structure, yes. guys, okay? So first is structure, all right? Use number one. What is the use number one? ¿Cuál es el uso número uno para present, uh, perfect progressive? Action started in the past and continues recently. That is okay. Recently. So, okay, so what is the use number three? Number number two then. Past action continues. The action what? You, you cut off, I'm sorry. Remember, guys, an action that recently stopped, okay? Una acción que ha parado recientemente, right? Okay? And the other one, an action that continues until now. Una, una acción que todavía continúa. All right? Very good. So, guys, okay. Any questions, guys? Do you need more examples? Or, or do you think that you can do the exercises now? Was it clear? Is clear? Okay. Awesome, guys. Awesome. All right, then. So let me get you into breakout sessions. Oh, no lag. Let me get you into the breakout sessions, guys, and um, you continue from there. All right. Hold on. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's join. Hi, Herbert. Hi. Okay. Uh, do you have a screen? Do you have yes. a screen? Yes. Okay, let me see. That's a self. Okay. I have a problem. Tell me. <laughs> because I I estaba en la computadora y no tenía nadie en el otro cuarto. <laughs> Pero ahora sí, ya tengo. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Sounds good. Sounds good. Jose? I'm sorry. I'm gonna get you together with somebody else, okay? Yeah. Um, right, here we are. Okay, the, I, I got the answer is in the phone. The, no, but I have the is number the, six. Is the, is the, I write here. Is your, uh, recent David. Send them the part. Yeah, I just think the present continue question. Present perfect. Ah, so. Yes. Okay, and um, the fairs. She has she has been working here for five years. Uh, B B eating. B eating. Sí. Eating. B eating. B eating a lot recently. Sí. Okay, number four. We have B. 
Oke. Okay. Be living. Living in London for six months. Number five. Sería he he has, has. He has mm -hmm. been player. Mm -hmm. Play. Football. He has been Oh, so he's tired. Oh. Cansadito. Tired. Oh. Okay. Ahora vamos a. Yeah. Okay, el siguiente. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now that number two. The part number two is the other question. Oh. We have been for six months. Okay. Number five. He. He. He has been. Number nine. Uh huh. It's. Has been raining the pavement in wet. Pavement. Pavimento. That's pavement. It's, it oh, has sorry. been. Payment. Pay, pay, sorry. Payment. Yes. It okay. has been raining. Raining. The pavement is wet. The pavement? Is wet. Ah. Okay. Um, number in the last one is you have been sleeping for mm -hmm. 12 hours. For okay. 12 Thank you. Okay, use your tools for the question. Okay. Um, what kind of movie have you been watching recently? You uh, will you recommend any? Okay. Mm, I, I have... ah, sorry. Yes. Would you, would you recommend any? Okay, that's how you say it. Would you recommend it any? But but um legal. Uh, uh -huh. Did you, uh, sorry guys, did, did you uh, finish the exercises? Uh, not yet. Not yet, sure. Right. Let's do the exercises first and then we can continue talking, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Watching wrestling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys any questions? Uh, no. No, teacher, I finished the part number one. Now, uh, estamos en las questions. Oh, okay, so did you finish the exercises? Yes. Right now, okay, the exercises. Very, very good. All right, so then you can move on to the next session, which is me. Oh, okay. Right. okay payment. What is the meaning of payment? Pavement. I am thinking about the skin of the road yeah. or the way, the street. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Um, is pavimento. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot the Spanish, but I think that's so. <laughs> is the meaning for pavimento. <laughs> I tell you, you, you 
You aren't supposed to be translating. Okay. You have been you have been sleeping for twelve hours. Teacher, creo que ahí está. Tell me. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta de la segunda parte? What kind of movie have you been watching recently? Watching, not watching. Watching is lavar. Watching. Watch. Watch. Watching. Watching. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you, teacher. So what would be, what would be the answer? Mm -hmm. You tell me what would be the answer. Okay. So I, answer I, 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 estoy con I have been, no veo películas, la verdad. Eh, the Joker. Ajá, esto fue el cine. Okay, I, okay. Now remember that you have to answer in uh, mm -hmm. present perfect progressive, right? Is that present mm -hmm. perfect progressive? Mm -hmm. did, did you answer in present perfect progressive just now? Esa es mi duda. O sea, no, no entiendo cómo estructurar la respuesta. Si tiene que ser el yo vi en español. No sé si es que estoy traduciendo y eso me está confundiendo. Yeah, okay, you say, you say, Great. Follow the structure. What is the structure? Subject. Uh -huh. Subject, uh, actually, uh, auxiliary. Uh -huh. Half plus B plus B. Plus B plus B plus B plus Yes, plus the verb in ing. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. So, so you can say, right? I have been watching the main. I have been watching. Right? I have mm -hmm. been watching. So, follow the structure. You know, it means yo he estado y viendo. Yo he estado lo que sea en en ing. I have been watching. I have been estado ing form, right? Mm -hmm. so, so that's it. Okay, thank you. Maybe I'm confused. No, no, no worry. Let, let me let me hear you, okay? Let's see uh, how you do it. Okay, I have I have been washing watching washing watching like your clothes, right? No, así sí la watching. Lo digo bien o lo digo mal otra vez? No, you, watching. No, no, you did it good. You did it good. Watching. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Jose. <laughs> I have the answer. Uh, uh, ask me the, the question, please. Have you, have you followed any TV series for a really long time? Mm, I have uh, been... I have been a uh, follow uh, the doctor for a long time. I have been following a doctor following, for a long time. Yes. Following ING. Okay. Oh, okay. I ask you what new TV series? Have you been watching that you will recommend it? Recommend it. I, I have been uh, yeah, I have been watching watching uh, which, uh, <laughs> Trojan. What? Tro Trojan horse. Okay. It's a it's a it's a very good book. Do do you do you know about this book? 
No, no. It's a, it's a, it's about the time machine. Uh -huh. It's a, a top secret of NASA. Uh -huh. Guys, did, did we finish the, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting guys. Did, did we finish the exercises? Uh, and number four question, go. No. Question number four. Mm -hmm. okay, number favorite, four. What is it? Uh -huh. A favorite, uh, what are some of your favorite books, newspaper or magazine that you have been reading lately? Okay. That you have what, I'm sorry? Sorry? <laughs> That you have what, I'm sorry? No, no lo que dijiste, pero... Who? Me? Yes, uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say let let lately? Lately. Lately, lately. okay. Yes, lately. Uh-huh. This is the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the whole question, I'm sorry? Uh, what are what are some of your favorite books, newspaper or magazine that you have been reading lately? Okay. Uh, you, so you can answer magazines or you know, revistas, right? So uh, you can say you haven't read, you know, if you haven't read anything, you can say I haven't read any magazine lately. I haven't read any magazine recently. Ah, okay. Very good. So we're going to go back now, guys, okay? Okay. okay. Well, good job, guys. Um, well done. So, guys, uh, what is the answer for number one? Who wants to give me the answer for number one? Me. Go ahead. Okay. She has been working here for five years. Okay, very good. So you can say she's been too, guys. Okay, you can contract it like this. Okay, she's been working here, right? Working. All right, so the answer, yeah, she's been working here for five years, so she has been working here for five years. Good job, right? Number two, what is the answer for number two? Uh, me. I have been studying all day. Okay, I have. Studying. Hold on. I have been studying all day. Okay, so you can say. Right. So I have been studying all day, right? You can also say I've, okay, like this. I've been studying all day. Okay. Very good. Number three. What is number three? You have been. Eating a lot recently. I've been eating, okay, a lot recently. Very good. Number four. We Go ahead. have been living in London for six months. I've been living. Very good. Good job, all right? Uh, number five. He has been playing, right? Very good. He's been playing. Very good, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. Uh, number six. What's number six? Me too. Go ahead. They have been learning English for two years. Very good. Number seven. I have been cooking, so I'm really hot. Very good, okay, number eight. She has been going to the cinema every weekend for years. Going to the cinema, okay, very good, thank you, All right? Number nine, what's number nine? It has raining, it has been raining. Raining, very good. All right, and number 10.
you have been sleeping for 12 hours. Very good, you have been sleeping. Good job, guys, and applause, guys. Woo. And applause for me because you learned. <laughs> no, guys, and applause for you. Sorry. Very good. Um, any questions, guys? Any questions? All right. No questions. Did you learn something today? Yes. All right. Yes. I love yes. Good. Okay, good. All right. Guys, I need you. Um, so by tomorrow, guys, we need to have finished section number two, okay? All right. But section number two is just present perfect continuous, right? Um, tomorrow, I will help you. So here's the thing. Uh, let's make a deal, okay? You finish section number two tomorrow. If everybody here has, you know, if everybody here has finished uh, the section number two tomorrow, I will help you with the answers tomorrow, okay? All right? But you need to do it first, okay? You guys do it first, and then I help. I help you, okay? Sounds good? Yes. All right. Very good, guys. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good day, guys. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. See you guys.